if you have a problem of ad account disabled you can use this ad account to run ads its ads have stopped running and some of its advertising assets are also disabled and you may see see details here and maybe let's say you try to you may also see something like okay you also see something like ad account disabled um this ad account uh you can't use this to advertise because it didn't comply with the advertising policies affecting assets business assets or other quality other standards learn more about this restriction in account quality whether you see this one or you see this one all of them have um similar uh, meanings and i will help you to know how to be able to get it reinstated so in this case this one a business manager is restricted and by default the ad account is restricted so it could be a business manager or ad account and you will see what you are seeing here because if a business manager is restricted by default the ad account inside that business manager will also be restricted so that's what you need to understand so um, my intention is to help you appeal and follow the right processes to get back reinstated so first of all you can click on go to account quality or you can click on see details or you can come here and click on the three lines and click on account quality all of them will bring you to account quality so i was already in account quality but let me show you when you click this what you are likely to see when you click like this or when you click on the go to account quality or see details it will bring you here so now as you can see this one the user account is not restricted the user advertising access is reinstated it, it, it is not uh, restricted so when you come here and you come to in fact though there's a problem with the ad account and that one it means that the personal ad account may be disabled but the user account is not disabled and if there is uh, an ad account in the business manager which is not disabled it can be used to run an advert so if you come to meta business account you will see confirmation required so we are asked to confirm our identity here okay now um if you also check here i want to show you something shortly um here let's go to account quality i've had a lot of you asking me um to understand more about why facebook disabled accounts okay so there are several reasons why your account may be disabled and i want to just show you some of them okay so here if you check the user account the user account as i told you is reinstated it is not restricted in fact it was restricted and i appeal and it is reinstated so i'm not trying to appeal the business manager so if you click here if you click on this advertising policies you can see these are facebook advertising policies i will advise that if you haven't gone through these policies please take time to go through them because a lot of people make the mistake and will not go through the advertising policies and one day facebook can disable them and shut down their account completely so please my advice is take time go through the advertising policies know what you're supposed to do and what you're not supposed to do uh, because sometimes this identity suspicious uh, activity and identity confirmation required things is about um you may be using two accounts and it's against facebook policies or you um you, you may even be using one account but maybe you have taken a certain action that is suspicious so if you follow the policies you'll be able to know what is right and what is wrong so that you won't violate their policies okay okay so now we are supposed to confirm the identity before we confirm the identity there are certain things that i want you to know and one of them is you have to um change your name to match with the id card you're going to use so when we say change your name you make sure that your first and last name is matching with what is on your id card and um the id card that are required are national identity card passport driver's license voter id card all those ones are accepted in some countries national health insurance card are also accepted okay so you can if you want to change your name you click on your profile picture go to settings and privacy go to settings from settings you go to account or you go to name and make sure that you edit the name to match with what is on your id okay you also come back click on your name on the left hand corner go to your about section go to contact and basic info check your gender and the birth date if that is matching that's fine if there is a problem with that 
make sure you change it. If you don't change it, you will have a problem with Facebook. Okay. So when you do all those changes, you will come back and now click on confirm identity. Then if you click on confirm identity, they may ask you to confirm. They will ask you to put you to, to, they will send a code to your phone number. They will ask you to put your email to for them to send a code to your email. So if they ask you to put a phone number, make sure you put a phone number that is connected to the account. If they ask you to put an email, make sure you use an email that is connected to your phone account, uh, your Facebook account. If you were not already having an email, that one you can use any email. But if there was an email there, make sure that email is what you're using. Okay, so after you add the email, they will send a code to your email and you put it there to confirm. After that, you will now click on upload image. So they are asking you to upload an image of yourself. So you add your own picture. Okay, so after you do that, click on continue. Okay, so they will ask of your ID card. Now, just a minute. Seems there is a little problem with the name and we need to change that. Okay, okay. So I think it is okay. Okay, so the name is okay. I was just trying to confirm that everything is done brightly. So we submit the ID card and make sure the ID is clear. Make sure that the ID card is clear. You can see your first and last name and your birth date and your face clearly. Any ID you are using must have all these. If you don't have any of them, they will reject it. Make sure the ID you are using has all these. Okay. So after that, you click continue. Okay. So you close. Now, we are going to sit. We're going to wait for some few minutes. As you can see, they are saying that um, ID re received request review. So it is now like with requesting a review and information in review and decision being made. So we have to check here if the identity confirmation is confirmed. When we come here, this identity confirmation required will no longer show. It will no longer show. So we can check. Just be checking within some minutes. When I refresh, if they approve it, you will see that it, it, it is this confirmed identity will no longer be there and request a review will be. Now, as you can see, it is black, but it will be deep blue. So let's wait and see. Now we have to, after the identity is confirmed, we have to write a letter. So I'm already trying to write a letter so that when it is confirmed, we can just continue from there. Okay, so let's um, refresh and see. Okay, so as you can see, less than five minutes, the identity confirmation has been successful. So what we are going to do now is we are going to request the review. So in requesting the review, we click on request review. Then we put, they are asking of the reason why the account is, uh, we are requesting the review. Don't ever choose, I am not sure which policy was violated. Don't choose, I think there was an unauthorized use of my business account. Choose another reason and then describe the reason. Now, the reason what I'm saying is my business manager account has been disabled and I am told I didn't comply with one or more of their advertising policies, such as having too many ads rejected, attempting to circumvent their ad review process, participating in the fraudulent behavior or associating with untrustworthy account. And I know that I have not violated any of these. I've run several ad campaigns and none of them have ever been um, rejected. And I know that this would definitely be a mistake. They saying that I violated their policies because I don't have any intention to violate their policies. And I know this could be a mistake. So they should please reinstate the account for me. Even if I made a mistake in any case, but I know it, they should please forgive me and reinstate the account for me. Then after that, um, I'm submitting. So as you can see, <clears throat> the, the appeal has been done. Now we are waiting to see, to re uh, they said your review request status we will notify you of our decision within 48 hours. So when um, they decide, when the account is reinstated, we will come here to check. When we come to account quality, we will come to um, under meta business account and check. 
if it is reinstated, you will see it here and they will say your advertising access is reinstated. You see it in green. You see it in green. So this is exactly what you need to do to follow, to confirm your identity and to appeal for your account to be reinstated. And I know we have followed the right processes. This account will definitely be reinstated. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day. Remember to subscribe and turn on the notification bell. Uh, before I forget, please, if you have any advertising restriction and you try and you are not able to get your account reinstated, please follow the links in the description to contact us. We have a lot of people that we, we've done um, advert for. We are able to help them um, get their um, account reinstated. And we also advertise, even if you want us to help you advertise alone, we can help you. If you also want us to help you uh, reinstate your account, or if you want to book a Zoom session for us to help you make sure that your adverts are doing well, uh, or um, maybe your account are well set, we can help you set up your account, get you reinstated. Yeah. So thank you once again, and bye-bye.